do not install from civic.com like this and copy link and go to the UI because install from URL because if you do it puts it right here okay in the control net so if I start the program press enter And give it a second and it's gonna keep it from loading up so make sure that file is not in there there's another way to do that so I deleted that start the program up give it a second now I'll work and basically what I was telling you is don't go here copy link and go to import and install it from here you'll have a bad day so the way you want to install that is come back over here you will download this to your hard drive by clicking here and it'll start going here and you also need this config file so click here and it's downloading okay one is finished and the other one is I'll stop it because I already got it so where you want to install them for it to work alright for this to work this way is we're going to go back to the invoke folder and auto import control net then the yaml file on the sensor is there so if we look up here you'll find the extension when you add a control net right here this is from civic.com and the other one is from hugging face now this one you can do so if we go to hugging face they got one that's right here all right now you need to go to the I already had it right here so if we go so maybe right here is the description of what's going on to the main thing now I want to go to the version 2 so it file and versions click this then we'll uh, come up here and copy right here then we'll go in here go to the model manager import then you can install it from here I already added it so uh, it will probably give me an error that it's already added and you can see this does not let you know that uh, how long it's going to take if you up and open up the terminal uh, it will uh, let you know what it's downloading I'm going to pause the video until it gets almost to the end 99 100% message already installed okay so we know it's installed uh, it's best when you do one model at a time that way if you have a problem by installing it you know that's the one that causes the problem you start downloading a bunch of models at once then all of a sudden you start the program up uh, you don't know what's caused the problem so it's best to install one model shut the program down and restart the program and if it gives you an error that didn't start up well you know probably that's going to be the problem if you installed like four different types of models and something don't work now you got to select from the four so if you come here now on my list down here I got QR Monster V2 from civic.com 
and I got also this one here and I've noticed if you um, set the same seed to each one you get different results of course you can uh, tweak these settings down here through the weights one guy recommended uh, at 30% here and 1.7 here so if we try the seed on this one from hugging face and we generate one image and we'll generate it and give it a second and I'm doing these at 512 by 512 almost there and we get something like this if I press it again and I'm using the same seed I should have the same one as you can see they're producing over here I'll just go do it and delete all these so if I click here it produces the same one you can see one here I click it again produces the same one all right ain't no no difference now if I use the same C, but I come down here and select here, um, they are supposed to be version 2, I guess, and if they was, they should be similar in results. Uh, but uh, I like this one here. It seems to hit quite more often on scanning it. So I should have the same images as in here. Well, should. So I'll let it finish. You know it's taking a little bit different time. Uh, it's a lot crisper and, and it's and it's hitting uh, a lot better this way. But you know I might not want that crispiness over this. So this got a pretty good blend to it. Now if I select this again, notice it won't take as long because it's already preloaded. So if I click it and produce another one so I got you know so if I want to show you real quick how that works let's delete all these I'm just gonna keep on clicking these remember the first one it went real slow and watch I'll click it a couple times one two three four producing four of these over here I can do it again one two three four that's a good way of testing things out you know by uh, using the same seed and generating one image now this video was designed for QR code monster and QR code monster only for the install now if you go to model manager and import it will tell you down in text about you know uh, where it likes you to download from and that's hugging face okay so usually if you do it from there you can't go wrong normally nothing will go wrong and another thing is now these two settings uh, when I switch between the models um, from two different places doesn't mean that uh, uh, that you're limited to that you can make uh, one model let's say for instance I was using two different QR codes uh, you can do adjustments to maybe make it look like the other one or close to it. Uh, I don't just know. I don't know if there uh, there's a reason why it works like this when they're both version two, but they seem to be a little bit different. It may be the way that, that the program's progressing it. I don't know. Now these steps right here I showed you at 1.7 and 30%. It's just a starting point. They may not work for you, but they, this is a, on a forum. I forgot the guy's name. He's the one that recommends these settings, and they do work pretty good. Uh, if something don't work good uh, or like it should, what I like to do is, because it don't take much, so if it's 1.79 and I bump it up to 1.8, it may, it may not work at all, okay? So what I like to do is uh, I like to 
see what things look like because you know like I like to go maybe extremely low look at it render it and go extremely high then I compare the two now which do I like the best so I start going down and like I said and go down and generate as you're going now the steps also has a factor so even though if I went up to seven point eight and it's not working yeah, this gave me a hard time there we go well, I'll make it and it's not working doesn't mean it, it won't work um, all the time you may come down here and just the settings right here uh, for the steps <laughs> and also this has a big factor on it too it, it lets you know you can read up on this I think if you hoover over here it probably won't do in the video um, balancing like balance between the prompt and the uh, control net and if you like to switch prompts up you're probably gonna get different results so if you set it to prompt and you start changing the prompt up it may quit hitting so you may want to set this to control net or it focuses more on this uh, if you want to this is something very experimental I can't give you a definite answer because there's not a definite answer so uh i like to control net here uh that seems to work, work the balance seems to work pretty good too uh, when you're changing prompts uh so that's something that you got to mess with yourself